subscribe if you have not and click on the notification bell to get more updates thing but action here dr prosper nata ogum has named his first 11 and uh, we'll be taking a look at that and then we cross over to the other side but first Prof warriors up against the Oja boys in a titanic battle here at the baba Aya sports stadium who are making the changes here they start with a 4-4-2 formation and this obviously would show how the strength of the Diana team has been built and pivoted around those five players we'll take a look at them uh, in a second but first round these two teams met it ended the uh, Adriana nail Kotoko 2 Kotoko breaking that jinx at the uh, Nana Ajiman Bedu Park when 16 wins they have won in 27 matches this season and don't forget Kotoko have also lost the lowest number of games in the game and now they cross carpets to uh, uh, to Doma and there's uh, Yaya Mohammed. he's looking good today and the two teams are roaring and ready to go as Asante Kotoko kick us off they're playing from left to right in their traditional all red outfit the presence of George Infege who looks like will be operating from the uh, left hand side would be a plus for them Buedu pushes the ball forward and finds uh, on uh, Steven Amankona so to see him in the first 11 he brings on board a lot of speed Joseph Kotoko will come forward and that's a steady approach there from defense through the middle and then they launch themselves straight into attack Sharif Mohammed plays on the pass the cross is on could be first goal oh blunder there but quick reflexes and quick timing by Joseph Ado yeah nobody closes it on Hubari but most Sharif without brilliant pass and look at the delivery from Ankona in a very good position but a miscue from Hafiz nearly turning that ball into his own net but what I say from Joseph Ado yeah we see most Sharif without pass but look at Ankona one time on the pass beautiful ball in a very dangerous position Hafiz trying to clear that ball, but nearly struck that ball into his own net and tries to go around uh, Shaibu once again. He gets the better of him. Cross the scent in his deep. Joseph Ado. Here comes Boebu with that long pass. Bella brings it down nicely. Channel 2 4 7. I don't know too happy that he doesn't get the throw, but the throw is quickly effective. Sharif across the face of goal. Anastar is not allowing their opponents to settle. Writer J comes through. Yaya Mohammed lays on the pass. Another of those faulty passes. And the Anastar get the ball away. Nicely cushioned down by Yaya Mohammed. Amankona has been taken away from him. It's uh, JV who picks it up. Nicely good footwork by JV. Still would love to go forward. Christopher Nete would put a stop to the run. Amazing skill. Went round on Makuna, went round Gamma. Still, was holding on to the ball. Brilliant skill here. And he's always relying on the pace. Look at that pace from Jeffy. And that he will have none of that. This looks good for Ibiana Stars as they come forward. Connection to Brighter Jay. He's got his eyes on target. Faft the idea. Faft the Jeffy. Behind him is uh, Shaibu. Shaibu makes the run and that's some quick thinking. Decent cross as well. Oh, Kotoko had bodies in the way and so it was blocked nicely by Imoru. Shaibu now lays on the pass, finds James Lee. Right at Jay is the closest to him. Can he go around his marker? Again, it's a battle between James Lee and uh, Nete. Richard Buedu's final tackle seems to give Kotoko the upper hand. Dig one through with his right, decides to go for the pass. Head on target! That was close. Hafiz Adams dealt with nicely by Mubarak. Jane Fee seems to be enjoying a partnership with Shaibu, but this time Shaibu pushed him a bit to the threshold of an attack for Kotoko. He's brought down by uh, Sam Adams. Advantage will stay with Kotoko as they push forward. Quickly effective. Latching onto that nicely was uh, Embella. Oh! That's what he brings on pass. And nobody closing in on Gamma. Gamma with that brilliant pass. And Ituga. Very close. Now my goalkeeper. Gamma again. Kotoko come forward again. In figure this looks good for the pocket point. Oh! Thunder strike! 
from who else? What a way to score a man to go of the season. Amazing play from the Pokemon Royal Warrior, super play. And just look at that combination in midfield. Incredible finish. And just look at the celebration at the CEO, Leon on Posat, even amazed. If they get with that brilliant assist that look at the finish. Breathtaking, incredible finish. The link up was so so good at the finish. Immaculate. Not even looking at the right, he knows where the Cameroonian is. And that pass was, was excellent and the finish. Super finish. Joseph Ado, beating him. Look at the joy on the face of Postmanate Ogo. Pass through Nete and the Bella comes in once again. And Richard Good Wagadas, very robust and rigid. Corner take his own for Kotoko is swung in. We leave the ball to Wade Yaya, taken by uh, Imoru. Imoru gives it back to Samada, and Imoru recovers very well. Excellent job by the fullback and Castro turf. Good turn by Brighter J. He's got his eyes on target, but he pushes the ball up a bit too much. Good recovery once again by Imoro. Oh, what a young. Yeah. Push the ball on a bit too much. You know, you think it goes down in the box. And it's quite obvious and clear. Look at the link up between the two Cameroonians. Was there anything in that tackle? Let's look at it again, please. Ifege did very well. One time pass and the supply. Yeah. Very difficult to well at least Afferson did not get to the ball. Yeah, he did number 20. Well he's got 19 or, already. And Frank Mbella Etuga is saved by Joseph Ado. Oh, it's all there's almost always a first, isn't there? Yeah, second time is missing the spot kick. Missed one against Elmina Sachs. Couldn't turn it on and couldn't beat Joseph Ado here. And Ado. Good save. So after that, I turn inside out. That was a lunging tackle for Mawa. Is he Moro? 87 minutes of play. Another appeal for penalty this time. He won't hold. Refer wanted to pry the ball off him from behind. Infege goes down. Manages to lay on the pass. Fabio. Otuga straight to work totally hard here today. Lays on the pass to Otuga. Otuga is brought down, but was that a fair challenge? That's a penalty, says the referee. You have to agree with Jack Fuma over here. How did I tell you that play from Otuga? All he needed to do was to push the ball in front of him. And again, how do you run? Pretty late with that challenge. But kudos to Richard Bodu. Great control in the pass. A little behind the two guys, but all he uh, appease the gods as it were. Wow. Certainly waiting for the goalkeeper to make any movement. Struck it beautifully well, but again the post. And again, a little bit of credit to Joseph Ado. He guessed right again. Yeah, Out of nothing, the corner kick effected by former Kotoko captain Emmanuel Jeffy. And look at the bend on the ball. Up went Bright Ajay. Dan Lad was completely beaten. Getting your equalizing goal at the death of regulation time. And Indiana Stars claw back some pride. Right, Ajay. Oh, what a time to get yourself back into the game. And Joseph Ado is so thankful for that. And can you begrudge these officials?